Uh, so Steve, um, exciting times here at Surrey with, with the arrival of Graham Ford as coach and, and the new season just about to begin. What, what are your feelings ahead of the 2014 summer? Yeah, we're all pretty excited. Um, uh, we recently got back, back from Cape Town, a pre-season tour which went really well. Um, it was the first time really that Graham, Graham Ford um, you know, got stuck in with the guys. We haven't seen him um, up until that point really. Um, and uh, he's done some great work already. Um, you know, all the boys are really buzzing for the season. And what kind of difference has he made alongside Alex Stewart as well to experience the heads there right at the... You know, in, in your coaching yeah, I think you fit the nail on the head there. They've, they've got a lot of experience, um, you know, international experience as well as, you know, county cricket as well. So, um, you know, any advice that they, they, they give you, um, you tend to take on board. And, um, and like I said, we're all really excited. And Steve, it was a disappointing season last year in the Capital Championship, obviously relegation, but you've done quite well in the T20 region final and one day cricket um, a bit better as well. What are your season hopes and expectations in terms of across all those formats? Yeah, it was a pretty mixed season last year. Um, we did pretty well in the 2020 competition, got relegated in the four day stuff. But I think for you know a club like Surrey, um, you know our main aim is to get back into the first division. Um, we feel like that's, that's where we belong. We feel like we've got the talent to do that. Um, it's going to be take a lot of hard work, but I think that's our main goal this year. And next week, the arrivals of Graham Smith um, to captain the club. What kind of boost can that give you? Yeah, that's incredible. Um, you know, we had him last year, but unfortunately, he only played a couple of games for us before he got injured. Uh, again, he's got a wealth of experience, um, still a world class player. Um, and, you know, to have him on board is great. And obviously, the other big name, Kevin Peterson, um, potentially can play quite a big part for you this year because of his lack of England commitments. What kind of difference could that make to you? Yeah, I mean, England's loss is, is sorry's gain. And, uh, you know, again, he's a world-class player. Um, you know, he can change uh, the course of a game within half an hour. And, you know, every time he's performed for Surrey, he's, uh, he's done great things. So we're really excited. Yeah. Has Kev been good to have in and around the dressing room? Yeah, he's been awesome. Um, you know, he, he offers a lot of advice to the youngsters. He's done spin master classes uh, with all the guys. Um, so he's been, he's been great value, yeah. Do your England ambitions still remain? Yeah, no, it's, uh, I know. I feel like it's a big season for me. Um, I feel like there's opportunity to get back into the uh, into the frame. Um, but you know, I need to start well. I need to you know concentrate on you know scoring runs and, and taking my catches to Surrey. And then who knows? How, how big a boost is it to have Graham fully committed to Surrey and not have any international distractions? Yeah, it's it, it's amazing. You know, it was a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, we had him for two games last year, and you know when he left, it was it was a big disappointment to everyone because we, you know, we were trying to build a, a, on a good year really. Um, so to have him for the whole season, it's it's going to be it's going to be awesome. And were you surprised about England's decision on Kevin Peterson? Um, yeah, obviously, I don't know what what went on um, behind closed doors, but um, like I said earlier, I think England's loss is Surrey's game.